What's going on YouTube? I appreciate each and every one of you that stopped by to check out another one of my videos. And if you're new to the channel, I definitely appreciate you as well. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button as well as like the videos. It helps me out. I have more Pokemon cards from Dollar General uh, to open for you guys. And a uh, special thanks to uh, the Marvelous Jarvis. I will leave a link to his channel as well as his Twitch down in the description below. Um, who has kindly donated this um, to sponsor the channel? So we're gonna we're gonna open these and see what we get. Um, we will go ahead and start with the box donated by Marvelous Jarvis and uh, see what we can get in here. All right. Well, that was very graceful. <laughs> All right. All right, Jarvis. This this is for you, buddy. This one is for you. All right. So here we have a reverse hollow pattern guard of war. Uh, let's see here, slide that out. All right. So let y'all get a good look at that really close. It's not a promo. It's um, it's just a reverse pattern hollow. Uh, still really cool. And uh, sure, my daughter will absolutely adore that card. All right, and there's a code card for you all. Okay, so in this pack, they did that weird sleeve thing again, where these packs are sleeved up inside of sleeves. This time, no, they're not completely sealed still. They're just, it's just weird. And Ancient Origins, two team up, looks like four evolutions and breakpoint. So, we will go from oldest to newest and see what we get here. And these are dollar, uh, dollar Tree style card packs. So there's only three in each pack. So be careful opening these because if you're not careful, you will bend them. All right. So as with always with these, you get this card, which is not a code card. It's just a card they put in here to offset the weight. You're gonna go one from the back to the front. And if you have a rare, which you're not guaranteed to pull a rare, but if you have a rare, it will be the very last card that you pull here. So let's go ahead and we got a Lysander, we have a Meowth, and a Magikarp. All right. I've actually never pulled anything super nice from Ancient Origins, so it would be cool to, to pull something. Um, I did not open the set whenever it was out, so to me everything's a surprise in this set. Let's just uh, shake my table there, knock everything over. Oh, well, I ruined that one, but there's a holographic Verizian. <laughs> I went to the front. These are so weird. Right, we will put those up here. And we will go ahead and get into the break point. See, this is what I mean by like, you put them in the sleeves. It's just really weird that they would do that. It's even got a barcode. Once again, if anyone's seen that before, let me know. I've bought both of these tins before and it didn't happen until the um, last time I bought one of these. Um, really strange. All right, let's get this open here. All right, let's not do the normal card trick. Let's just do one to the front like we're supposed to. And we have a reverse valley. We have a Staryu and a Clefable. I actually wouldn't mind pulling some cool break point either, as long as it's not a break card. I do grow tired of break cards. I think they're cool, but you know, definitely a neat concept. But just not a real, real big fan of the break cards. And we have a bay leaf, a fan tump, and a glammy owl. All right. So let me go look through here. Is any of these rare? Other than yep, Clefable was a rare. Definitely put that out to the side here. That was only rare? Okay. Other than the hollows. 
All right, so from here we got Evolutions. And I actually do enjoy opening up some evolutions, especially these Dollar Tree packs. All right. So we got one in the front. We have a Poliwhirl, a Nidoran, and a Reverse Hollow Star You. And we got another evolutions pack. Let's see what's inside. Come on. Okay, come on now. You got this. You got this. <clears throat> All right. Upside down, one to the front. All right, we have a Charizard Spirit Link. We have a Star U. Ooh. And a holographic Clefairy. That's so cool. I will go ahead and sleeve this one up. Just because uh, in this set, those are pretty much as good as you're going to get. Those classic remakes right there. Those are cool. I'll put that up there. Alright. I don't know, just opening up some of these cards that are um, pretty much reprints of the original series that come out. Just so nostalgic. I um, really enjoy just kind of taking a trip down memory lane and opening them up. All right, so we have Super Potion. We have another Nidoran. And there's a Break card. That one is a Machamp Break. All right, we will go ahead and sleeve that bad boy up. Looks like uh, Jarvis's box is actually getting some good pulls. And Jarvis, I don't know if you've seen a break card before, but this is essentially what it looks like. They're, uh, they're sideways. They're really cool. Alright, so I will go ahead and put that dude up here. Is that upside down? Yeah. Cool. Alright. And we have another Evolutions. Come on. You can do it. And uh, I don't know if you guys have, um, you know, checked out my video from this last weekend, but uh, I started opening up a Sword and Shield booster pack. So if you're or a booster box, so if you're interested in that, make sure you stay tuned for this weekend because there will be more of that box being opened up. Um, we have a Magic Heart and a Venusaur EX Full Art. Hey Jarvis, you're. Um, your box here, buddy, is straight fire, bro. <laughs> so, much appreciated. I actually don't have that one in my collection, so I will be adding that one. That is really cool. Okay, so from here we have a team up. This one's a few sets ago. Well, the uh, third from last set in Sun and Moon, I believe, is what this one was. And this one doesn't want to open, so maybe that means that there's something good. All right, see that one in the front, and we have a far fetched. We have an Emolga and a Reverse Hollow Hone Edge. All right, got one more pack of team up, and then we got Unified Minds, which is. Um, from two sets after team up. Yeah, because we had unbroken bonds and then we had uh, unified bonds. Alright. So in here we have a unidentified fossil. We have a Mankey. And we have a Litten. Alright. Go ahead and start getting into the Unified Minds packs. But yeah, uh, like I was saying, um, I will put a link to the video from Saturday where I started opening up the uh, the booster box of Sword and Shield. And then from there, um, I will be opening up more this weekend. And of course, if I can uh, find any 
the newest set, what is it, um, Rebel Clash, I will be opening up those as well. So, if you, um, if you enjoy Pokemon card openings, you've definitely come to the right channel. So I do two of these per week, I do one on a Wednesday, and then I do another one on Saturday. So, it's always, always fun, always love opening up Pokemon cards. Um... I think if you don't like opening up Pokemon cards, you uh, you're you're really missing out. You are really missing out, especially if you grew up in the nineties. Um, I hate when that happens. Look at this. It's just the the clear coating comes right off the packs. All right, let's throw that down there. Get rid of that. All right. So we have a energy. We have a wind pod and a slack off. I said last time I was gonna open these from the bottom because they're about near impossible to open from the top. But these are these ones are giving me problems. These ones. Is that a word? These ones. Blues Tactics, Cottony, and a Magmortar for the rare. My packs are over here today. All right, let's go ahead and get this puppy open. Yeah, I also need to pick up the uh, the new box that is out. Um, have not done that one yet. Fracture, Fomantis. And a reverse hollow U-turn board. All right, we have a Tauros, a Poipole, and a Numel. Yeah, these Unified Minds, they've, they've just they're really hit and miss when, when I open them. I see other people open them and get good pulls all the time. I think I saw something shiny in here, but I'm not 100% sure, so let's find out. I, I believe I did. All right, we have a Lampent. We have a Noibat and a Jirachi GX. I will go ahead and sleeve that one up. You are a duplicate, sir, but I'll take you. All right. So we have another one here. Not bad for a dollar. I mean, I did just pull a Jirachi GX out of a dollar pack, so can't really complain. Absolutely cannot complain. All right. So we have a unidentified fossil. We have a Cryogonal and a Meloetta. We have a few packs left. All right, one in the front. We have a Tornadus, Litwick, and a Drover. All right, let's go. Let's go. We have an electric energy, a hone edge, and a reverse hollow unpheasant. For those of you that's interested, um, I have started streaming on Mixer. Um, I play different games, uh, Call of Duty, Scum, uh, really just whatever uh, that I can, you know, play with other people on. Uh, I've thought about doing some Pokemon series let's plays. Uh, so yeah, if you're interested in that, I'll leave the link to my Mixer down in the description below. If y'all want to, you know, follow me on there, see when I'm online, and uh, check out and see what I'm doing. Yanma. Alright, can we get some last pack magic? Alright, this is actually some really nice pulls for, um, for what we've got. I bought 12 of these, and then, of course, Jarvis um, helped supply the other one. So, uh, we have a Luminion. We have a Hone Edge and a Pikachu. 
All right. Let's go ahead and go through what we got here. We got the Gardevoir, Barizian, Jirachi GX, Venusaur EX, and Mechat Break. Go ahead and give you all one more look at that. And then, of course, we got the Clefairy reprint from uh, Evolutions, which I'm I honestly, I love the, the hollow pattern. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit the, the thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Until next time, you guys stay awesome.